This building's a good example of how hydrogen can be used in stationary power applications. Built in 2013, the ideas for this building were originally developed by Professor Evan Gray, a world expert in the storage of hydrogen as a solid. Solid hydrogen is stored in these compact metal hydride tanks instead of large high pressure gas cylinders. The system takes rooftop and window shade mounted solar PV energy to supply the building during weekdays when classes are in session. Surplus energy is stored in the batteries. When the batteries are fully charged, spare solar PV energy is directed to the electrolyzer, which splits water into hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen is stored in the metal hydride tanks and oxygen is then vented to the atmosphere. In buildings such as hospitals, this oxygen can be captured, stored and used in medical applications. On cloudy days when there is no direct sunlight, the building draws on energy reserves from the batteries until their state of charge reaches a minimum safe level. At this point, the building control system releases hydrogen from the metal hydride tanks by applying reserve hot water from a rooftop solar thermal system. Now a gas, the hydrogen is directed to a fuel cell which draws in oxygen from the surrounding air. Oxygen and hydrogen gases are then combined to create electricity and heat for making more hot water. This off-grid building is totally self-sufficient the system used here is a good fit for remote areas of Australia to power agribusiness, mining and tourism operations in place of diesel-based power. This building's also been designed to take advantage of best practice air conditioning using thermal storage. When the batteries and the metal hydride tanks are full, the building's control system directs surplus PV energy to the air conditioning chillers to produce chilled water. This reserve of chilled water can be drawn on in cloudy weather rather than using the more expensive stored energy from the batteries or the metal hydride hydrogen storage and fuel cell system. This building is also a great example of passive lighting design where natural sunlight is used in preference to more expensive and wasteful electric lighting. Large window areas, reduced internal walls and use of glass partitions all help to improve the ingress of natural sunlight which in turn helps to improve occupant health and productivity. This building's a great example of passive lighting design and chilled water storage in order to reduce daily energy demand. Coupled with a closed loop integrated hydrogen stationary power system fueled by clean solar electric and thermal energy, this integrated metal hydride fuel cell battery storage system provides the building's net energy demand without the need for grid connection or diesel power. Thanks to the vision of Professor Gray and the team here at Griffith University, agribusiness, mining, tourism and residential communities in the Queensland Daintree region are now switching from diesel power to this system in order to protect the region's important environmental assets.